trouble all my There's no way randomly going door to door will get us any money. And why are we wearing these mustaches? Brian, this is not random. This is the most expensive house listed on Google Real Estate. And these mustaches make us look real legit. Sorry, boys. I have no desire in becoming a Mormon. Neither do we, sir. Mormonism is for the birds. Brian and myself represent two of the most lucrative independent film producers in the state of Arizona. Last year, our film we produced was accepted into the most prestigious film festival in the country. The Phoenix Film Festival. We're here to offer you an executive position on our next film. Now, Barrett, before we offer this nice gentleman a job on our sh film, I want to let him know what it's about. Valid. <clears throat> so it's about a scientist It's about... It's about a secret Jewish society who, how should I say this, clandestinely controls the world politically and financially. For years, little innocent Jewish children have been forced to watch their non-Gentile friends with jealousy and anger as they celebrate the most popular holiday, Christmas. This Jewish secret society has had it up to here with Christmas and has made a decision that it should go on no longer. Well, how do they plan on ending Christmas? Simple. They're going to murder Santa Claus. Uh, can I have a word with you outside? Our idea for the movie wasn't supposed to be about jealous Jews. It was supposed to have an evil skeleton, aliens that can't grip the fact of sharing an atmospherium. Fucking atmospherium. Okay. Uh, did you not see Richard's menorah? There, but before we offer this gentleman a uh, position on our film, shouldn't we tell him what it's about? So, it's about a scientist who finds a... It's about... A secret? He's a fucking Jew, man! And all Jews hate Christmas, and especially Santa Claus! Well, boys, I want to inform you that I, too, hate Christmas, especially Santa Claus. And I'll do whatever you need me to do on your next film. Really? That's great. We were hoping that you'd like to take the role of executive producer. All we'll need from you is $25 million. You know, you'll have no artistic or financial control of the movie, and we hope to never see your pretty face on set. Let me get my checkbook. And by the way, nice mustaches. They look legit. I know you're close, Nicholas. I can smell your scent. Are you sure you want to do this, Israel? I have done nothing to your people. I have done nothing except bring cheer and joy to everyone! Think of the children, Israel. The sweet, innocent children who depend on me every year! Fuck children. And fuck you. And cut! That's a wrap, people! Thank you very much! Above the line, you guys can leave. Thank you very much for your time. You guys had a great, tremendous production. Slaves, I mean, PAs.
you know, pick up all this shit and don't fuck anything up like you've been doing this whole entire fucking time. Damn it! Yo, Barry, what's going on? <sighs> so, we got a problem. You know how you treated those PAs like endangered servants? You mean like slaves? Mm hmm Yeah? I don't... Yeah, you know. Well... Yeah, you can, you can say it. I mean, you could say it, but... You know. Yeah, well, they stole all the equipment. And... The rental house is suing us for $10 million, which, of course, we don't have. Uh, so we'll most likely be going to jail. Uh, didn't we uh, have been, uh, insurance for this type of thing? Nada. But didn't we uh, surround ourselves with the LLC, which stands for Limited Liability Company, which would prevent us from taking this kind of catastrophe? The company would go bankrupt <laughs> and not us personally? Uh, well, we would have. You know, surrounded ourselves with an LLC and insurance, but we didn't take uh, Professor Valenti's producing practices course at AS Arizona State. I should have taken that class when I had the chance, Brian. It is one of the best classes at Arizona State University. Brian. Okay. I don't want to go to jail. What do we do, Brian? What? What do we do? I say we flee the country and we go to Tijuana like old times say. Really? Mm -hmm. Tijuana? Mm -hmm. What if we don't go to Tijuana and do this? Ow! You know, ow! Oh, God! Ow! But. You know, good thing we've been uh, producing with stashes this entire time. It's going to be pretty hard for the police to recognize us without our stashes. All I can say is, thank God we produce with stashes.